And very good evening to everybody in Facebook land. Tonight, um, from Soundcheck on Visual Radio Arts, we have the fantastic Palooka 5. Hello, good evening and welcome to everybody in Facebook land. We are here tonight on Soundcheck from Visual Radio Arcs, Arts even, <laughs> with the fantastic uh, Palooka 5. Are they surf? Are they garage? We don't know, but surf's up. <laughs> Evening all, we've got Blue 5, we play surf music. That's called La Manca, it's on our recent EP. It's a new one, it's called Debbie Don't Surf. She ain't a hair dresser, baby. She ain't an acrobat. She's a bass player, sister. In a white noise act Never have a party I'm a mutual friend Hang in the kitchen I'm a bikini girlfriend Such a shame that Debbie don't serve Debbie don't serve Debbie don't serve Debbie don't serve Back in 88 She made the song like the kiss A with a bone shake break Met her at the party I'm a huge friend Hanging in the kitchen A really cute girlfriend Such a shame that Got it on, sir Such 
such a shame that Damn it on, sir Damn it on, sir Damn it on, sir Damn it on, sir A bit on surfer. There's a theme for me. Hey, hey, y'all. Okay, this is uh, off our EP. It's called Little Frat House. Kids go, go, I'm saying you can bop, you can bop, you can bop a groove, yeah. you can bop, when you drop, get you in the groove, yeah. you can bop, you can bop, you can bop a groove, yeah. you can bop, when you drop, get you in the groove, yeah. get the bird, put some nice train on, I chick your head like Johnny Ramon. Set your ears alight. Saying you can bop, you can bop, you can bop a groove there. Shake your mop, booty drop, get you in the groove there. You can bop, you can bop, you can bop a groove there. Shake your mop, booty drop, get you in the groove there. Shake your bop, put some less strain on. Shake your head like Johnny Ramone. You can bop, you can bop, you can bop a groove there. Shake your mop, booty drop, get you in the groove there. The body fires, you can dance all night. Little fat, I'll set your ears alight. Right out there. Right, so also from AP. AP. Hang on. It's just called, uh, it's just called uh, Cindy Jordan Surf Gang. Uh, that was off.
of our EP. This is one of our three pieces. It's called Synergy on a Surf Gang. It's available now on Fuel by Cider Records. It's also on iTunes and uh, Spotify and all the rest of the online criminals. Uh, and uh, you can also buy it at the gigs. Okay, this is called uh, Cindy Joined a Surf Gang. Right, okay. McCullen in the corner there. Thank you. Cindy, do you want a surf gun there? Tough. Sorry if you can't hear us, but uh, 
we are looking into the control room. So if you aren't hearing any clouds shout, and there is a bunch of lunatics in the control room that we can see. It's like being at Peyton Zoo. And the chimps in there. <laughs> anyway, on with the fun. This is called... Uh, we're sick of playing our own stuff now. I thought I'd give you something you might know. This is called uh, Cinderella by one of our main uh, bands that uh, give us a thrill. And this uh, called by the Sonics called Cinderella from uh, 1965. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Just to uh, remind you, we are live on Facebook uh, with Soundcheck from Visual Radio Arts with Palooka 5. Back in the sound room that, back there, we've got uh, Phil and we've got Mags um, doing all the uh, stuff behind the scenes. Anyway, uh, Palooka 5, thank you very much indeed. What an excellent set. Um, tonight, I have to say, I'm going to be a little bit selfish tonight because um, it was a bit of a treat um, doing this one. Um, 
I like all the bands that I'm kind of working <laughs> oh, you with. Just say that. <laughs> but um, the kind of music that you do is absolutely right up my seat. A street, Cheers. a little bit of surf, a bit of garage. Um, so, first of all, um, quick introduction to the band uh, itself. Uh, so we have um, Alex on keyboards. We have Sam on bass. We've got Tim on guitar and uh, vocals. We've got Bethan on the funky tambourine and, uh, and vocals. <laughs> and uh, Kank on drums. So uh, welcome all. Um, right. Uh, so the music, um, first of all, uh, is described as um, surf. I was it was described to me as a combination of, of the B-52s and Dwayne Eddy. Whee! <laughs> And I thought, fuck on, fantastic. <laughs> I like the sound of that. So let's start a little bit first of all. Uh, well, let's, let's talk about the name, Palooka Five. Okay. Um, so uh, we just wanted something that kind of fitted the aura, and um, we've got this Mad Apocalypse Now image. Okay. We usually come onto Ride of the Valkyries by Wagner, like the Apocalypse Now film. Um, uh, surf garage music, you know, lends itself to kind of certain American imagery, Americana. So I thought, what best sums up about that? There's five of us in the band, and we went through lots of different combinations, you know, Lakota Five, the Delta Dukes, all that kind of nonsense. But, like, the Palooka, just kind of Joe Palooka, you know, all that kind of uh, comic book, Tank Girl stuff, it all kind of, like, you know, fitted together. So and it seems, seems, people seem to like it. <laughs> We've been going, like, since November 2015, so, uh, um, yeah, only a while, but uh, people seem to have latched onto it, yeah. Well... Uh, when I came in earlier on, and I've got to, I've got to show this up because uh, being a massive Tank Girl fan, so <laughs> this was the image that I managed to get, and I'm hoping that we can get that onto the uh, thing. This was um, Jamie Hewlett. Now there's a, there's a lot more um, uh, that kind of goes with this because Jamie Hewlett, of course, then went on to um, uh, become part of the Gorillas, and of course. Yep. <laughs> Gorillas on your logo. Yep. So that even works even better there. Um, right. Um, let's just talk about influences. So, Bethan, what kind of music do you like? What's, what's your influences? Well, for me personally, I like a whole different genre. I, lo I love a bit of disco. I love a bit of 60s. I love a bit of 70s. Oh, sorry, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> but I think actually, you know, when it when it's come to the band, it's been really, really great to just bring together some different, um, you know, pieces of music. So the surf, the garage, the '60s sound, that really rough. Or is it when they say rock and roll cut to the bone? It, you know, that's it in a nutshell. You know, when people say what is your music, I said, well, whatever it is, you can tap your toe to it. You know, it's a toe tapper. It's great stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it, that is, you know, as Tim said, you know, there's the B52s. We do a little bit of the Sonics. Um, you know, the Ramones. You you know, a great, great influence as well and a great love of their music too, so. You're saying the right things there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Huge Ramones fan. Right, let's move on to Kank. Kank, um, what kind of bands influence you? What's your, what's your, what's your influence? Uh, I started out in the sort of punk New Wave era, but I encompass all sorts. I love Garage, 60s, um, all, anything, anything, but, anything but folk music. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't got a finger in the air, but I do have uh, two, two earplugs in there. Right, <laughs> moving on. Sam, what kind of stuff are you into? Taylor Swift? Techno. Techno! Oh, techno. No, and a banging no. donk on it. Mostly uh, smooth death jazz um, <laughs> and things like that. Um, well, all, in all honesty, all sorts, really. Um, I like a bit, bit of everything, um, apart from, you know, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and last but not least, and we're going to be talking to you a little bit uh, in a moment, Alex, yeah. because uh, being a bit of a gearhead uh, myself, um, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, your instruments here. So, But before we go on to that, a couple of musical in influences for you. Yeah, no, I re really like the Sonics and, uh, and the, early, the early Link Ray, all that really good early surf nasty stuff. It's got to be dangerous. If it can't be banned, it's not worth doing. Well, it, it's exactly... In fact, before we went live, that was something that we were talking about, was the, the kind of dirtiness of the sound, which is uh, an, an important part of that kind of garage surf music. It was really... And it was interesting because a lot of the bands that were around at that time doing that had a very clean-cut, very sort of college boy yeah. uh, image. And you were talking about the Sonics yeah. going to see them. Um, yeah. What, what were they like? Me and Alex went to see, me and Alex went to see them uh, about this time last year, and I was perfectly prepared to... to turn up and see some of the little my dad and his golf buddies. But like, uh, they were rocking, they were really feral. Like, they, they still got that, that primitive, um, you know, primate sound, a really simple organ sound, really simple rock and roll, distorted. And like, you know, 
I'm the worst musician in the band by quite some distance, so we had to tailor the sound to meet my uh, it, technicalities. But like that early garage sound, that's all about like young American kids picking up cheap guitars and kicking it out in a garage. That's what it's all about, and that's you know. That's what we try to carry off, really. And uh, I think that, it, you know, that absolutely nails it. I'm a, a big fan of, of, of punk music, but punk music really, really, really spreads itself out over a wide range. And back in the 60s, garage music was yeah. the punk music of yeah. the day. You know, totally. it had that kind of very, very raw edge. So let's just talk a little bit about gear for a moment. We'll come on to tambourines in a moment. Oh, but <laughs> so start off with yourself. You have two of my favourite guitars. Oh, okay. I sound like I can yeah. smoke up I've got, uh, I've got a, a, a Gretsch Electromatic and a Vox Phantom there. And, uh, you know, they, they lend themselves a valve amp and then uh, got a, tr a tremolo pedal, so, um, you know. Well, I was going to come on to the pedals uh, yeah, in a moment. It just, um, you know, that they lend themselves to that rock and roll sound, that really simple kind of primal sound. And, uh, you know, th this is the gear that they're using then. Um, the drums and the organ are, you know, vintage, as well. the organs are vintage as well. Yeah. You know, and if you're looking to get that killer kind of vintage sound, you've got to use, start from the bottom by using the, you know, the correct uh, tools of the trade. Absolutely. And the Gretsch has got that really nice, thick, dirty sound. And the Vox, by comparison, has got the m really thin... Killer surf sound, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Rebuild, yeah. Absolutely. A bit of tremor. Let's just go on to your effects, because you've got quite a unique sound there, which is unique to that kind of 60s... Um, surf garage sound. Uh, so you've got some tremolo on <laughs> got there. Got tremolo pedal, and I've got a, uh, I've got a, a blues breaker for the solos, and I've got a, I've got a wah wah pedal for that kind of uh, 60s psychedelic sound. I've got a, a clean and dirty channel for my surf sound, and for my dirty channel that I just use in Cinderella. So, yeah. Uh, excellent, excellent. Right now, I'm going to move on. I know little about drums. I know little about bass, apart from when you put you're, the you're two in together. good company, Carl. You, yeah. <laughs> you have dance music, <laughs> right? So, moving on, Alex. Now. Uh, we were talking earlier about uh, about keyboards. Now, everybody knows the Farfisa um, organ. Everybody knows the Hammond and the Hammond sound um, on there. But you have you've got both the Hammond and what is this beast here? This is a, a Wem Tice chord. Uh, it's a Tice chord C, so it's the middle of the range. There was a bigger one than this, Big Daddy. Um, it's 1963. Um, most of it works uh, most of the time. Uh, some of it doesn't work ever. But it's, that's the joy of this thing, is that what, you know, it's bloody heavy. Um, and the Hammond is even heavier. And uh, you turn up to a gig sometimes, a festival, something like that, and you see these people who come on and make almost the same sound out of a suitcase with some plastic lids on it. And you think, <coughs> why don't I do that? It'd be a hell of a lot easier. Uh, but the reality is that, like Tim was saying, this music makes a certain sound, and it constrains you to play in a certain way. And it makes you want to do music the way that this instrument wants to be played. And that's a great constraint. You can have loads of fun conquering constraints, but lots of people know you can have lots of fun within constraints as well. And uh, this is uh, that's the way I look at it. I've got to ask you, whereabouts, whereabouts did this come from? Is, is this from somewhere in the UK? Uh, yeah, I bought this off a dentist in Bath. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and he still owes me the, uh, the pedal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, seriously. I was knocking around in his garage, and, uh, and uh, he, he was happy to see it go to someone who'd play it. Fantastic. I so say both of those instruments give a really great sound. So very, very happy. That kind of very cheesy um, organ sound. That's that's the one which is uh, so you know, right for uh, for surf and uh, for garage. Right. Uh, let's move on now to um, uh, a little bit about uh, about your gigs. Some some of the gigs okay. you've played. So in fact, I'm going to uh, actually before we go on to that. Cindy joined a surf gang. Yeah. Debbie don't surf. Yeah. There's a pattern form in here. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But the next question, you know what's coming, Bethan. <laughs> yeah. Bethan, yeah. Mm. are you in a surf gang or do you surf? <laughs> um, I'd love to surf. So, uh, th but this is my way of being in a surf gang. This is probably as close as I'm going to get is with these guys here. So this is my surf gang. But I'd love to surf. I'd be rotten. I'd be absolutely rotten, but I'd love to do it. Yeah. It is a bit worrying, isn't it, that he keeps writing songs about... Women. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Cindy, uh, Debbie, we're singing a song about Cindy. We are a couple, by Good the way, in case you didn't realise, yeah, we were <laughs> yeah, married, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're the so, only two that fight in the band, you know, everyone's yeah. got, got their house on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, but, yeah, so it's, uh, oh, I'd love to surf. I was going to say, yeah. that, that is a conversation over dinner I would really yeah. love to hear. <laughs> right, so... Cindy, tell me a little bit about Cindy then, uh, and she's who, exactly who. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> but there is a story behind Debbie, isn't there? Yeah. There's a story behind Debbie, well, which Tim could tell uh, I'm, you. Uh, I'm responsible for operating the guitar and writing the lyrics, so uh, I just usually start with the title, really. 
and we were recorded our last EP. We had three songs and we were due to record again on the, on the, on the Saturday and we had nothing. And then um, I just heard a track by the Cramps called, uh, was it not, uh, was it some, somebody joined a goth game? Uh, <laughs> something about the goth game. So I just smashed it out, wrote the lyrics down, uh, and then we got it out. But they're all, you know, Debbie Don't Surf was about, um, we were struggling with a bass player on this year, and I was lucky enough to be invited to a party with uh, lots of uh, local musicians, and Debbie Gooch from My Bloody Valentine was there. So I said to my pals, I took a picture of her and said, right, bass player sorted, you know. <laughs> and uh, my pal, back quicks a flash, yeah, she's no good, Debbie Don't Surf. So I go, that's a great title, Debbie Don't Surf. So yeah, <laughs> and the lyrics about Debbie Gooch from My Bloody Valentine. So yeah. But Fantastic. yeah, but this all, I mean, the whole band is just about rock and roll, it has to be songs of a certain time, you know, under, under three or four minutes, not, not progged out. And, uh, you know, with an image, you know, just rock and roll cuts. The, what first got you excited about hearing bands like the Beatles or the Stones or the early 50s stuff, it's all about cut back to the just raw instruments, a certain length and a certain image, you know, and then you're away. I mean, I go see bands now in despair. They walk on like they've just come from work and they're looking at their toes and, uh, you know, you just think they've lost you before they've even played a note. You know, That's so called shoegaze. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, an un, it's an unfashionable word, but it's showbiz. Get up there and give people a good time, you know? What's the point of getting up looking at your shoes and looking at... You're just going to put concrete on your fingers. Make them, you know, people have paid money to see you. Absolutely. And that's interesting, Kick actually. You, you, uh, you mentioned about you know, some of the old bands, and uh, we've talked about the Sonics. Uh, yeah. You did mention the Cramps, which, again, is another personal favourite yeah. of mine. Uh, very sad to see them, obviously, no longer yeah, well, um, around. Yeah, well, with the yeah. age now, with all these pioneers, you know, are all yep. dropping off the plate. We can't love the Ramones. Yeah. You know, we were there at the White Heat of a Child Youth Club Disco in 1979 to hear that kind of thing when it was when it was out, and it was just fantastic. And that kind of, like, White Heat of a Youth Club Disco doesn't leave you. Yeah. You know, and I, I despair kids now. Listen to Ed Sheeran drinking an overpriced coffee. You know, get some conkers. You know, get, <laughs> what, 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 I, I, I just... It's beyond me. Well, let me just throw one other name out there. One of the one of the other tracks I listened to um, that you got up on your uh, on your YouTube uh, thing was uh, Vince Taylor and the Playboys. Vince Taylor and the Playboys. <laughs> we do my, in our party set. We do a brand new Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is a great song. Yeah. All, so. I mean, all that under, all, there's, there's, there's heaps of that stuff out there. Yeah. It's fantastic. You know, really primal, simply recorded. Three tracks. You know, three track shack. Whack it out. Link Ray. All that kind of stuff. And, you know, with my limited technical, te technicalities, that's all I can play with. So, luckily, I've managed, I've managed to fall this lot. I'm trying to fool everybody else now. OK, uh, a little bit about uh, some of the gigs you've done. Uh, we talked earlier about, okay. um, before we came on air, yep. we talked about uh, outside of... So in fact, mm. Beth, and I'm going to come to you now on this one. Um, outside of festival... Oh, fantastic. Honestly, if you've not been to Outside a Festival, you've got to go this next year. Just such a great atmosphere, great fun. People just getting together in this fantastic setting. It really is a brilliant Fuel by Cider event that they put on. Th these guys know how to, to put on a festival. And Outsider just, is just brilliant. It was great. We were so thrilled to be asked to play this year. And, uh, and we're, we're looking forward to playing again next year. Yeah, I know that uh, tickets are now available for, for the 2018 one as well. Now, um, uh, um, uh, of the gigs you played, any, any other ones? Um, well, I, I need to give a thanks to our, our label and our, our people that look after us. Uh, about, they're called Fuel by Cider. It's a promotions company. They put on loads of local festivals, Outsider, Broadsider, um, Camping by the Seaside, all those festivals. We're on the label. Uh, the guy, Mike Lace, that runs it, he's a force for good at, for local music in the area. Um, um, they've got an own recording studio. They really look after the bands. We, we played lots of gigs with them, lots of festivals with them. So, yeah, so Broadside... Uh, what, what are they about? Broadsider? Yeah. They've got Cider in the name. It's a great, a great yeah. festival. <laughs> so, yeah, go, uh, through, go for the... I mean, we've, got, we've, got, we've got two or three to come. We, we've been flat out, played about 16 or 17 already this summer. And when we got to the end of the summer, I thought, great, that's it. But then we've just been booked to play Salisbury um, on the 18th of November. And then uh, we're back in Taunton at this Creative Innovation Centre on the 25th of, of uh, November. And then I think we're in, back in Taunton on, on the 2nd, but that's yet to be nailed down. Yeah. So, um, but just, yeah, we, we, we've been playing flat out all summer. A little bit too much, to be honest. It's got, it's got a bit <laughs> mental. But, like, yeah, all, all around the southwest, Bristol, Salisbury, kind of, uh, you know, we'll down the uh, uh, Dorset area, yeah. So, but, like... Yeah, available for bookings <laughs> well, <you've> done, <laughs> next year. I was going to say, you've done part of my job for me very, very yeah. well today because I was going to ask you where you're playing. You've just told us that, which is great. Um, you, we were also talking, uh, or you were talking earlier about where you can get your stuff from, so Yeah, Bank so Camp. go to our website uh, and go to iTunes to get the, get the, get the EP. Oh, we no, I've got, I've got to do a little bit here oh. on, on, on marketing and schnizzle. Now, <laughs> this is a notice for other bands that are coming here. 
I personally like schnizzel. Now, so here is a T-shirt. Schnizzed up. <laughs> As given by the band, I feel like I'm one of the band now. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I am the hey, Palooka. He's even got the haircut. <laughs> the Palooka Six. <laughs> that so, is attention to duty. <laughs> um, so, yeah, very well. And also, uh, let's go down to it. Oh, look at this. Hang on, see if we can get this into the camera as well. This is the EP. Uh, it has all of the tracks that you've heard so far. It's got La Manca, uh, Little Frat House, uh, Drop Zone, which we haven't heard, uh, and Cindy Joined a Surf Gang. Great EP. Uh, so uh, get out there and buy it. Right, and without any further ado, I think the word is Charlie Don't Surf. Charlie Don't Surf. <laughs> and uh, just big thank you to, to Phil and to... Uh, Lieutenant Uhuru in there, the lady on the on the on the on the on the, uh, on the name. Sorry, it's Max. Uh, 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 it's Max, Max. Max. Uh, and to uh, Carl, Carl for looking after tonight. We've had a great time. Been a real laugh. And I recommend any bands. If you've got a killer live set, come on and show yourselves off We're on Visual Arts Radio. Visual Radio Arts. The last thing I'm going to say before we uh, go on, I should come on right at the end, but please do like this, do share it, try yep. and get it as much out onto Facebook as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, this uh, comes out on a weekly basis. Um, so, uh, again, please do get out and share it. Right. Oh, yeah. And, and, uh, yes. And a quick thank you. Our bass... Our drummer forgot a part of his kit tonight, his bass drum. So Dave the Plumber, we put out uh, an SOS onto Facebook. So Dave the Plumber, well respect is overdue, my friend. Thank you. And sorry if I'm swinging beer like a thug, but I'm just so thirsty. See what I've got here. Right, and as we said, let's surf. Yeah. OK. Oh. I've had 20 minutes to change my guitar. <laughs> sorry, guys. Right, this is called Cactus Blossom Heart. It's one of three you're hearing tonight that's uh, off, our, off our next EP that we're recording in the new year. Cactus Blossom Heart, it was meant to be kind of a um, kind of Lee Hazelwood and Nancy Sinatra kind of a uh, backwards and forwards between myself and my beautiful wife. Uh, so it's, uh, and it goes a little bit like this. <laughs> Sand, gaze to the 
Cheers. Cat has put some heart there. Right. Every surf band should have their uh, rubbish instrumental. This is ours. It's called uh, Drop Zone. This is, uh, we're getting near the end now. This, is, this next track is uh, another new one to go on the next EP. The recording in uh, January at Fuel by Cider HQ. And it's called Heavy Juju. Oh, well, my helmet's come off. Can you, uh, one of the aircraft is missing. Can you get un unplugged, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Heavy Juju. This one, then another one. And that's your lot. Okay.
Okay, thank you. You're very kind in there. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so the last one is called Some Fool's Mess. <laughs> Tune up here. <laughs> Got to make the situation going on. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'm, I am bad, but like blimey, that's awful. Right, okay. Close enough for jazz. Right. <laughs> Thing, but uh, you're not a hooray kind of guy. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Palooka Five. Alex, Sam, Tim, Bethan, and Kang. I got everybody right. <laughs> we can see you again on the 25th of November uh, with the Electric Shakes and DJ Steve Clip Cube at the Creative Innovation Centre, Taunton. And you can see us the week before that in Salisbury at the uh, Winchester Gate with Electric Shakes again. And then you're probably going to see us in Taunton in December, but uh, that's not been nailed down yet. But um, thanks to everybody that sees us this yeah. year. 
Uh, big Palooka 5, massive. Um, just thanks for everyone's help, including uh, Visual Arts, Rigid Radio Arts, Phil, Carl, and, um, and oh, Mag, 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 sorry. So, oh, yeah. just, uh, I'll get me coat. I've done it again. <laughs> just to finish up, uh, so you've been watching um, Soundcheck on Visual Radio Arts. Um, this is a, a uh, free-to-view uh, um, channel. However, uh, if you wish to donate, please do go ahead and do so. Uh, we'd also like you to like and to share as much as possible because that uh, spreads the word for live music, and that's an important thing uh, to be able to do. Um, on that, I'd like to thank Phil and Mags in the control room and Molly, who has been yes. <laughs> out the back there. Uh, one of the all-time greats, so, Molly White. Uh, she's one of our cheerers out the back there, which is, uh, which is all good news. Uh, everybody in Facebook land, uh, we'd like to thank you all very much for uh, tuning in and watching. And until next time, this is Soundcheck and Palooka 5 signing off and saying goodnight. Yeah. See you, comrades. Oh, yeah. Cheers.